Do you want to know how to make anime by yourself? No problem. I'm just a guy who makes anime alone only using my laptop. And you can do it too. So today, I'm gonna show you how to make your animations with a software called Dan Sing Sing, or DSS for short. But before heading to Steam and downloading it, there is actually one big thing that I think you should know about it before buying it for yourself. And that thing is, that even after buying the software and downloading it, you will not get access to all of the special features that I'm gonna show you in this video right away. So make sure to watch till the end of this video, because I'm gonna show you how you can unlock all of the special features as well. But now let's actually talk about the software and how to use it to make anime. So once you've opened DSS, the first thing that you'll see is their default avatar standing in the middle of their pre-made 3D stage. So let's actually start by changing the avatar. In order to bring your character in, all you need to do is to simply click on the change avatar button on the left, then click on the top left slot, and change the default avatar to your own VRM model. And if you don't have a VRM model of your own, you can easily create one with a free software called VROID Studio. So now after bringing your character in, you will immediately see it standing in a T-pose in the middle of the stage. And if you want to change your avatar's position, you can simply click on the Avatar Transform button. Then you can control the position, rotation, and even scale of your model. And if you want to change the body animation, you can simply drag to the timeline one of the motions from the Avatar Motion tab on the right. And by the way, if you want to get more motions, you can simply go online and download and import more VMD files. But I actually have another method that works really well for me. In order to animate my characters, I actually prefer to broadcast the body movements from another software called VRM Posing Desktop. With this software, I can easily pose my character in different poses and then change between them by simply pressing assigned keys on my keyboard. Then I can simply broadcast it to DSS by activating the VMC protocol. And then after activating the VMC protocol in DSS as well, I can immediately control the body movement of my character in real time by pressing the assigned keys. So this is pretty much how I control the body movements. But in order to control the expressions as well, I would actually recommend adding another stage to this process, and that is to broadcast the body movements to another software called VC Face. This is basically a free software that will allow you to control your avatar's facial expressions by pressing pre-assigned keys on your keyboard which is pretty much what we're doing with VRM posing desktop but with facial expressions instead. So instead of broadcasting the body movements directly into DSS, what we can do is to broadcast it to VC face, and then broadcast the body movements combined with the facial expressions back to DSS. And now, we can easily control the body movements and the facial expressions of our character by simply pressing the assigned keys that we chose earlier. So the last thing that we have left to do now is generating the lip sync animations of our character. And the great thing about DSS is that it can actually generate it for you automatically. All you need to do is to go to the Load Assets tab above and then click on Load Music. Then you can choose an audio file that you want your character to say. Click on Open and then you can find it on the Music tab on the right. And then you can simply drag it to the timeline and when you'll press the spacebar, your character will automatically move its lips in sync with your audio file. You lot are traveling with a very dangerous woman. But I suppose you already knew that. So now, after learning how to control your character, it is finally time to talk about changing the background. If you want, you can easily change it to one of the other pre-made 3D stages by clicking on the Change Stage button on the left. And if you want, you can even load more 3D stages as long as it is a PMX or a GLB file. Then you can control the position, rotation and scale of your stage using the Stage Setup window on the right. But unfortunately, messing around with 3D assets can be very time-consuming and complicated for some people. So this is why I actually prefer to use 360 panoramic images as backgrounds instead. In order to generate the backgrounds of my show Carmilla, I'm usually doing it by exporting cube maps from Gmod, and then I can convert them to 360 panoramic images. But if you want an easier method, you can actually use a free online service called Blockade Labs. On their website, you can simply write the prompt for the 360 image that you want to generate. And after downloading it, you can import it to DSS by simply changing the stage to green screen. And then, all you need to do is to click on the Others tab above. Go to Settings, and then click on the button that says Load Skybox. And now, after choosing your panoramic image, you can click on Open, and it will automatically become the background of your scene. Now you can easily adjust the background using the Stage Setup window. But in order to fully control the composition of your shot, you're gonna have to add a new camera to your scene. By default, DSS creates for you a medium shot camera that you are looking at your real-time rendering through. 
and if you want to move freely in the 3D space of your scene, you can simply toggle the free camera option on the left. But in order to actually adjust the default cinematic camera, all you need to do is to go to the camera tab on the right, choose the medium camera and drag it to your timeline. Now, if you'll right click on it, you're gonna get access to a lot more options regarding your scene, like tracking your character, change the facial expressions, toggle the lip sync, wind effect, and more. But the most important thing for me here is actually adjusting the camera angle and position. So now you can go and click on the Post Processes button in order to add some extra effects like Depth of Field, Vignette, or Bloom. And now all is left for you to do is to actually record your video. What I'm usually doing is clicking on the red button above the timeline, and then I select the 4K video quality, type how many seconds I actually want to record, and then I press on Start Recording. After that, I'm choosing the location for my video files, and then when the actual recording starts, I am pressing all of the keys that I've assigned before and animating my character in real time. And if for some reason I didn't like the take, I can just try another time, and another, until I'm satisfied with my shot. You lot are traveling with a very dangerous woman. But I suppose you already knew that. But unfortunately, if you want to export 4K videos, record 60 frames per second, or use a lot of other useful functions, you will not be able to access it right away after purchasing the software. So before I'm gonna tell you how you can unlock it, please consider leaving a comment or even just a like if you've learned something new from this video. So anyway, after purchasing and installing DSS, all you need to do in order to unlock all of its features is to simply go to their official store page on Steam, then scroll down a little bit, and then you need to write a public review on the software. Then just publish it, take a screenshot, and then scroll down a little more until you find the link to their official Discord server on the right. Then just join the Discord and send a direct message to the developer. You can simply send the screenshot of your review and ask to get the redeem code to unlock all of the features. And after you'll get it, just go back to DSS, click on settings and then simply insert the redeem code. After that, all of the features will be available to you right away. Now, I understand that all of this process of getting the software with all of its features might look a bit intimidating, but I really think it is worth it. Because apart from everything that I've showed you in this video, this software is packed with a lot of other useful functions like importing and attaching 3D props to your avatar, posing and animating several characters in the same scene, or even importing animated GLB files. And also another huge plus is the official Dan Sing Sing Discord server, where you can post things that you've created with DSS and discuss it with other users, report bugs, or even suggest things to add in the future software updates. Also I must mention that the developer is really attentive towards criticism and suggestions. So I really think that this software has the potential to become the ideal software for anyone who wants to get into making animations. But even if you are still not interested in getting this software, you might still be interested in my next video. Because I'm gonna show you how you can create more complex and smooth animations like running and walking, with a completely free software that you probably never heard of. So don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you don't want to miss it. See you later!